We're used to the police being at Parliament to protect MPs, but might they be needed to protect those MPs from each other? Today, a senior Conservative said that government whips, the MPs who enforce discipline, are using intimidation, even blackmail, against those who, like him, want Boris Johnson out. It is, of course, the duty of the government whips office to secure the government's business in the House of Commons. However, it is not their function to breach the ministerial code in threatening to withdraw investments from members of Parliament's constituencies which are funded from the public purse. The intimidation of a Member of Parliament is a serious matter. Moreover, the reports of which I am aware would seem to constitute blackmail. As such, it would be my general advice to colleagues to report these matters to the Speaker of the House of Commons and the Commissioner of the Metropolitan Police. Boris Johnson was once again out in a hospital today, this time Somerset, and he was asked about the allegations. I've, I've seen no evidence, heard no evidence to support any of those uh, allegations. Anushka, and what I'm focused on is what we're doing to deal with the number one priority of the British people, which is uh, coming through COVID. Meanwhile, Labour's newest MP who defected from the Conservatives yesterday was alleging that he had been the victim of some whips intimidation. I was threatened that I would not get the score for Radcliffe if I didn't vote one particular way. Um, this is a, a town that's not had um, a high school for the best part of 10 years. And how do you feel when holding back the regeneration of a town? Michael Fabricant was a whip for seven years in government and opposition. He says it's all about persuasion, not intimidation. In the bad old days, there might have been sort of slight shoving around, but you couldn't do that now. A, I mean, it's just not acceptable, and B, it would be filmed and out on social media within minutes. So, nah, you know, I'm afraid the whips don't have the power that uh, William Ragg is suggesting. Don't let the apparent calm deceive you. There's a struggle going on here for who leads the country, and that kind of fight can get dirty.